So we've gotten many questions from a bunch of you viewers on what our favorite bourbons and ryes and all of that are in our collection. So we decided to pull the bottles down and rank them and put them in order and we came up with a list of eight and we're gonna share those eight with you right now. All right, the last one on the list, and it's certainly not least. Number eight. Number eight. <laughs> it sounds weird putting this in last because it's one of our favorites out of our entire collection. And that is Wild Turkey 12 Year, the travel. The Japanese, Japanese edition. Japanese. So this is our good. second or third bottle of it. We really like this. So, oh, this one hadn't even been opened yet because <laughs> we finished one recently. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's 12 year turkey, 101 proof. What We were trying to decide between this or the Ross's 13. Decided on this one. I love this because it's literally like wild turkey 101 on steroids. Oh yeah. It's, it's really good. We've done it in blinds against the 13, the Russell's 13, and it just depends on the day and the mood. But in this video, this is one of our favorites in our entire collection. It's so. an oaky 101 proof, and you may notice something along those lines here in all of these bottles. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. All right, let's pull this one out of the way. What is the next one? The next They're one. all over there. All right, I've got the last four apparently. So the next one on the list is Jack Daniels 12 year. This is batch one. Oh my gosh. there's. This is one of the best that came out last year, yep. but it's actually one of the, my favorites in our entire collection. I just love it. It's yep. good, it's oaky. It's oaky and it's 107 proof, another low, lower proofer. Which is weird, but don't worry, not all of these on this list are, mm. are uh, low proof. Actually, there's one that's like super high proof. <laughs> so anyhow, I love this one. It's good, there's not much more you can say about it. Yeah. Jack does some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Jack does some good stuff. All right, I gotta talk about this one because this is my favorite. I love this one, but it's also okay. what got me into whiskey. This is not bourbon, it's not rye. It's scotch. scotch. It's peated scotch at that. This is Ardbeg Dark Cove. Um, mm -hmm. This is one of those bottles that I found I loved and I ended up with four bottles of it when, it might have been about a year after it came out that I, I found all these. That was years ago. Yeah, long time ago. Dark Cove, like if you haven't had it, try to find a pour of it. It's so freaking good. It is probably one of the best, if not the best Arbeck expression I've ever had. It's phenomenal. It's the reason I started drinking whiskey. Yep. It's literally the whiskey that was my gateway into bourbon, to rye, to everything. It was the first whiskey that I drank that I was like, this is good. It's the one that started it all for yep. me. Yeah, and I guess if you don't have this one, the closest you're gonna find to it is an Oogadal. Oogadal. I, I think. I think, I agree, but, definitely. Yeah. You gave it to me in a blind before yep. with Oogadal. Yep, because they're, they're both sherry finished, but this is damn good. If Don't miss it if you find an opportunity to try it. If you like peated yeah. scotch. Yeah. That is a very huge If gift. you like really sweet bourbon, try this. No, hell no, no. So, okay, it's phenomenal and it has to be on this list. Oh yeah. All right, the next one. Number Ooh, five. This one. Oh, I love this bottle. This is the Four Roses LE, the 135th. So this is the one that came out last year, 2023. Uh, yep, 2023. So freaking good. The more I drink of this, the more I love it. We didn't actually have this when it came to picking the bourbon of the year. Yeah, we got it. Spring of this year, 2024. Yep. I think if we would have have it had it though, it probably would have finished. It would have been up there. Up there. It's so freaking good. It's one of those that I'm gonna be really sad once this bottle's gone. Because mm -hmm. I don't think we're gonna be able to replace it. No. A lot of these bottles, it's gonna be really hard to replace. Yeah, that's very <laughs> true. So that's it. I don't know. There's not much more you can say about it. Any Four Roses Ellie that I've ever tried has been phenomenal. Yeah. And as you guys know, I'm a huge Four Roses fan. So this is one of the best ever. Yep. So. I guess that, talking about hard to replace, I guess the easiest one to probably replace is that turkey. Yeah, definitely. Um, that was it neat for like 130 when we were just there recently, so. And they had tons of bottles of yeah. it. Yeah. It, it'll be a little easier. Now we're on my side of the table. I have four through one, so we're going with four. Four. Oh. Michter's 10 year rye. This is the 2023 batch oh. H. I was H? like, laser yeah. code? What's well, it's batch H. It's the same one that uh, Breaking Bourbon had as their five stars. Um, it is freaking good. We haven't drank a whole lot of it because it's just one of those that's just like, oh, God, I don't want to finish this. Um, we do have a batch J uh, that we just got recently. Haven't I, broke into that one. I'd like to compare them. I would, too. We just see if they're really that, that much yet. different. But you know what's super interesting about this? This could have also been our rye of the year, but we got it after. Yep. We got yep. it after. So we uh, No, no. It. We got it last year. Um, it's just we had already recorded the video. Yeah. 
because we got it on the Christmas trip out to uh, Louisville. This would have been number one. Yeah. It would have. Yeah. Uh, yes. Did we did we have the bourbons and ryes together and no. it was just whiskey? No. It would it would have been the rye of the okay. year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Remember our rye of the year <laughs> was the mythology oh, rye. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The mythology this, rye is freaking good too. It's so good. But this would have beat that. So. Yep. So Michter's ten year rye. Next one on our collection. You probably would have thought from this company it would have been a rhetoric, but nope, it's Barter House. The order from Barrel Barter House 20 year. If we still had Rhetoric oh, yeah. 22, I would put Rhetoric 20, 22 in front of that. Yeah, I probably would too. Um, I just... We have 24, but I think this is better than the Rhetoric 24. Um, and again, just like that Michter's, which was like 93 proof or something, this is a, was this 90 proof? Um, another lower proofer, high age statement on this. We, we love that oak. Apparently we do, but not everything on this table is low nope. proof. Nope, nope, not at all. I do love this. Nope. I just love that orf any orphan barrel expression I've had, except like, I think there's a couple that I don't like, but like overall, anything that's like 20, 24, 25, all of those are freaking yeah. fantastic. I mean, even the Fable and Folly. Fable and Folly is And that's like awesome 16 too. years old, so yeah. that's really freaking 14. good. 14? 14. I think it's 14. 14, you're right. And this is a this is a rhetoric oh, with a Nashville Barrel Company cork on it because the corks on rhetoric bottles or orphan barrel bottles are horrible. Yep. <laughs> just like, they'll just pull right out of there. Uh, but yeah, Orphan Barrel, Barter House 20, it's just so freaking good, and I would love to get another bottle of this. Mm -hmm. Only way you're going to find it is secondary, though. That's the problem. Yeah, so, and they're like $300, $400? 400 I think, mm -hmm. on secondary. Yeah. Oh, before we go to the last two, Yep. if you guys have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and tell us your favorite whiskeys in your collection. Like, while you're seeing our list, do you like any of the, the whiskeys? Do you have any of the whiskeys that we have on our list, on your list? Let us know. Leave it in the comments. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Share with all your friends. Now let's move on to the list. All right. I don't know what I was doing there. I was like... Is that the Cabbage Patch or the bus uh, driver what? or something like that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, but it was a Dara dance. Yeah. We got the Dara dance. All right. Uh, number two on the list. Here's our high proofer, our very high proofer. Oh. This is a hazmat, 140.2. Coy Hill. Hill. One two of the... Jack Daniels on the list. Mm -hmm. This is, <laughs> but we have two. Oh, wait, and never mind. She... <laughs> 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 no, this is literally one of the best bottles on our entire shelf. One that we'll never be able to replace. One uh, you that... can, it's just going to cost a lot of money. It was a miracle that we got this so one. A we'll... lot of these bottles you could replace, they're just going to cost a lot of money to replace for getting them for retail. <laughs> this one we got in a raffle. Yep, yeah, we had to pay for it. It was yeah, we 70 still bucks, for but, it, but... Yeah, technically it probably cost us more than that because we had to spend a bunch of money throughout a six month window at a liquor store. And then you got raffle tickets and entries you could put in for certain bottles and we got this. So we spent a lot more to be able to buy that, have an opportunity to get this. <laughs> this is like one of those pours that I baby. Like I, I don't go to this bottle very often. No, we don't. Because I would love to go to it more. Yeah, it's, it's packed full of flavor. So it's one of the richest whiskeys I've ever drank. Yeah, it is packed so, full of flavor. So, so good. So, yeah, it's number two. Yep, number two. So on to number one, where Darrow's trying to give away stuff. We have two of this brand on the list. Uh-oh, another Michter's. Ha! Ah. The Michter's, this is the 10-year bourbon. The, the 2023. 2023 batch A. It's so, it won our whiskey, our bourbon of the year last year. Yep. It's so good. There's literally, every time I go back to it, I'm like, holy crap. I actually recently got to try a 2024, I think. Uh, we did when try. We were in Kentucky. Yeah, we tried 2024 Evergreen Liquors. I yep, think. we did. And I I was like, no. I remember trying this the very first time. I will never forget. The very first time I tried this, I was like, I have to have this bottle. I, we, like, we got a pour of it somewhere. And I got lucky to get a bottle of it, but I'm just saying, when I tried it, I knew it was like one of the yep. best I've ever had. Yeah, it's it's oaky, it's that 90 proof point. Again, we have a lot of low proofer, higher age statement stuff on this, because it's just what our palate likes. Um, it changes. It does. It, it changes. Uh, it could be six months from now, we might sub something out on this list, but for right now, these are our favorites. This isn't gonna leave number one for a long time. No, until it's finished and gone from the collection. No, <laughs> never. I love yep. it. But you know what I find interesting about our like collection and our lists and everything is, first of all, we don't have a single Buffalo Trace product. No, there's not it. a Buffalo Trace. No product Buffalo here. Trace products, and we don't have we don't even own a BTAC, any kind of BTACs nope. or anything. Nope. So I think our collection is super unique and delicious, and I love it. And this is so freaking good. So anyhow, 
That's what I gotta say. That's it. I'm excited. I love it. I, I can't wait to drink more of all of these. So see you guys later. I'm gonna go drink some of these. Gotta no. hide this from her. I'll hide this from him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hide this one from true. him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I think I like the ride more than the I don't know about that. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara. I'm Bill. We'll see you next time right back here on The Average Drinker.